once again, I'm Richard Moorcroft and this is Letters and Numbers, the puzzle show where there really are no prizes for guessing. In fact, there really are no prizes. It's all about the satisfaction of solving and the knowledge of knowing. So, let's salute our very nice know-it-alls. First, the mathematically delightful and insightful Lily Cerner. Hi, Richard. Hello, Lily. Now, actually, speaking of prizes, have you ever, you know, won any prizes in a competition or anything? Actually, I once won an electronic game player. Like a computer game machine of yes. some sort? Yeah, totally. I, I didn't really imagine you as a computer game player. Are you much of a computer game player? No. No. That <laughs> withering look across the studio, I think, says it all. <laughs> Welcome, Lily. And gentleman genius, David Astle. <laughs> Thank you. You just win prizes all the time, don't you, David? Now, I'm going to call you on something. No prizes. Uh, one thing I have learned in life, and that is never cross the lexicographer. We have a majestic dictionary for a prize. Ah, yes, but you see, it's not exactly a prize. That's a wonderful expression of our appreciation that people come along and play the game. It's not a prize. So what are you suggesting? It's like an attendance award. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have that. I think, oh, look, they are wonderful things, and we're very, very happy to give them to people. That's right. Oh, dear, I can see we're going to debate this one. <laughs> Good to see you, David. You too. <laughs> and to the people who make this show what it is, our contestants. Firstly, our new carryover champion, Luke Warden, a bowling club operations manager who has just completed a diploma of hospitality. Hello again, Luke. Hi, Richard. It's good to be back. Did something in particular draw you to work at a bowling club? I used to work in telecommunications in Sydney uh, for a number of years, and uh, after that particular company collapsed, I decided it was uh, time to get out of the rat race and, and uh, take a more relaxed lifestyle in an environment that uh, most people enjoy most of the time. So. so it was a sea change for you? It definitely is. Yes. Oh, well, good luck tonight, anyway. Thank you. And looking to challenge Luke is Mike Vitale, who has a PhD in mathematics, is a university professor, and director of the Monash Asia Pacific Centre for Science and wealth creation. Hello Michael. Hello Richard. What sort of range of activities does that cover? Um, Richard, the uh, Centre for Science and Wealth Creation does research and teaching about commercialization of research. That is the process by which a research idea is brought to market in the form of a product. So is this the sort of thing where you might be dealing with an invention that somebody's come up with and you actually need to be able to make it commercially viable? Yes, that's one scenario. Another one is that the person has not invented anything yet, but rather discovered something, which might have uh, an application somewhere in the real world. So it's, a, it's further back from an invention, if you will. Very practical work. All the best for tonight to Luke Gordon and Mike Vitale. So let's get the night moving with our first letters game. The contestant who makes the longest word, of course, from the randomly chosen assortment gets the points. And Luke, as our carryover champion, you have the privilege of first choice. Thank you. Uh, could I please start with a vowel? You can. Let's start with O. And another vowel? E. I'll have another vowel, thanks. A. A consonant? N. And another consonant, please. D. Another consonant. F. And a vowel. U. Uh, another consonant, please. C. And I'll finish off with another consonant. And last letter, N. Thanks, Lily. First 30 seconds. <laughs> How many for you? I had a six that time. Okay, and Michael? I had six as well. Let's start with yours, Michael. Dancers. And yours, Luke? Oceans. Oceans? Couple of interesting starts, David. Talking about a sea change, and Luke finds oceans. Well done. Uh, interestingly, also an anagram of uh, canoes. Uh, one of my favourite words is nuances. Uh, that's a seven, N-U-A-N-C-E-S. That's uh, shades and subtle differences. And the reason I love it is because it comes from the Latin word nue, which means cloud. 
So just little overshadows of colour. Nice one, David. And very nice work from both Luke and Mike starting the night with six points each. More letters straight away, and uh, Mike, your choice this time. Could I start with a consonant, please? You can. Let's start with S. Uh, another consonant, thank you. R. Uh, another one? D. Uh, a vowel, please. I. Uh, another consonant? T. And uh, another vowel, please. O. Another consonant? L. Another vowel, please. E. And finally, uh, a consonant. And lucky last letter, R. And here's the clock. Seven for me. And Luke? I've got a six at time. So let's start with the six, please. Riders. And your seven? Toilers. <laughs> they're riding and they're working, and in this case, the toiling uh, gets the uh, prize. Toilers is good, Mike. Uh, well played. And um, soldier. It's a word we've had before, and it's a word that does seem to crop up. So one to remember, I think, for future games. So in that game, seven points for Mike. Well, time to put our maths hats on now as we play our first numbers game for the night. And, uh, Luke, you to pick the first combination, please. Thanks, Richard. Uh, Lily, could I please have two large and four small numbers? Thanks, Luke. Two large and four small. And our numbers are eight, one, five, eight. And the two large, 25 and 50. And the target number is 156. 30 seconds to get there. with those first numbers, Luke? Uh, 153 for me. Three off the target, and what about you, Mike? 158 for me. 158, just two off the target, so you're a little bit closer, Mike. Take us through your approach, please. So, um, five plus one is six. Five plus one is six. By 25 is 150. By the 25 is 150. Plus eight. And the eight is 158. So, well done, Mike. Very nice work. Just two off the target. Lily, how did you go getting to the target? Actually, if you add the 1 to the 25 here, a 1 that you create by dividing 8 by itself, you get to 156. So I'll, I'll just talk you through it quickly. 5 plus 1 is 6 times 25 plus 8 over 8, which is 1, of course, gives you 156. Well done, Lily. But uh, well done to Mike as well, just two off the target, that gives him seven points. So Luke is now on six and Mike is on 20 as we're heading into our first break. It's a word mix for you, of course, and it's tram glee. And the clue has arrived. Stop. It's an old form of communication. Stop. Back after this. Yeah. 